how to create a slow shutter stop motion effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Inside your project's edit window, hold in Control or Command if you're a Mac user, and press I to insert a video of your choice into your Media Pool Master Bin. Click on the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of your newly inserted video thumbnail to reveal your clip attributes. Pay particular attention to the frame rate which appears in the properties. We will use this detail later on when setting up the stop motion effect. Click and drag your video thumbnail to your edit timeline. Right click on your new video edit and go to open in Fusion page. With Media In 1 selected inside your Fusion Notes panel, hold in Shift and press Space and use the search box at the bottom of the Select Tool window to find the Stop Motion tool. Select this and go to click on Add. With this newly inserted tool selected, under Inspector and Controls, the value for frame repeat determines how many frames in your video clip a particular image still will show for. So for example here with this particular still shown at frame 0, if I drag the red frame pointer line on the Fusion timeline from frame 0 to frame 5, we can see that the subsequent still in my video clip here does not appear until frame 5. Given the frame rate of 25 for this particular video clip, there will be 5 frames shown per second of screen time. In this particular example, so that each still lasts on screen longer, I will double the frame repeat value to 10. Should you wish for a greater value for this variable, you can manually type this in, inside the box where the number appears. Now to add the blurred slow shutter speed effect to this video clip. With stop motion still selected, hold in shift and press space, and go to add frame average. With this new node selected, under inspector and controls, ensure that sample direction is set to backward, so that outlines from earlier stills will appear on screen to create a blurred time-lapsing effect. Keep missing frames set to duplicate original so that all stills in your stop motion video will remain in your final media file and increase the value for frames to 5. Like with frame repeat in the stop motion tool, we can manually increment the value for the frames variable. The higher the value in this case here, the more detail we can see of previous frames in your video clip such as the pedestrian here in this earlier walking position. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.